Game Caviar. I'm your host as always, not having it back with a new video. This time I have some Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the first one, not the second one, not the third one, not yet. Soon though. Um, got some news to uh, cover today. I uh, took a suggestion from uh, somebody who reviewed one of my first, well, one of my previous videos to break up the news between PS3 and Xbox 360 so that's what I'm gonna do and let's get started first uh, PS3 uh, resistance 3 stumbles out of the gate um, the first month uh, last month it came out in uh, September and the uh, the sales numbers came out recently and it only sold 180,000 units in one month now I, from what I understand it could be because of other games that have came out and uh, that number is low it's quite a bit lower than resistance 2 but i mean it could change they could uh it could get its traction later on down the road but it's still something to uh take note about um hopefully i think uh, the game is really good and i think it deserves to uh um be seen by more people so hopefully they get those numbers up uh, there's a new uncharted 3 out that is simply amazing i, I saw it on youtube and i'm pretty sure you can check it out yourself but uh, it's uh, if you do it, if you if you can look at it in HD, the video that I saw only went up to 720p, and it really shows some high um, resolution video of the game and the cutscenes, and it looks absolutely beautiful. So uh, check it out. Uh, also, uh, Uncharted 3 will come with the uh, with a Starhawk demo. So all you Starhawk fans out there. We're looking forward to playing the game. Um, pick up Uncharted 3 and you can play a demo of the game. I've never played Starhawk and I don't know anything about it. I know it's a PS uh, PlayStation exclusive and that's about it. Alright, moving right along. Is the PlayStation Vita coming out in March? Uh, Capcom seems to think so. They have been talking about their new game, um, Street Fighter vs. Tekken. Street Fighter X vs. Tekken. And it's being released on March 6th and they made it not made it a point but they listed uh, PlayStation Vita as one of the consoles that will that it will be available for when the game comes out on the 6th so for everybody including myself that are looking forward for uh, the, the Vita it may be out it may be out before March actually um, I think Sony has said that it's supposed to come out in the beginning of 2012, so March would really fit into that category. And finally for PS3 news, IGN gives Dark Souls a 9.0. Uh, Dark Souls is a sequel to Demon Souls, a game which is very difficult and one of the hardest games I've ever played. You know, you know what, that's the hardest game I've ever played before in my life. It has no checkpoint, so if you die in a match, you get to start back from the beginning. But you get to start from the beginning of the match you don't necessarily have to completely start all over but anyway um yeah a 9.0 is a very good score especially for a game um uh, of that caliber and uh, i was really not when well, i surprised but i was um what's the word i'm looking for i was relieved that it got such a good um score because you know how games come out with the uh the sophomore slump you know when the second the sequel to the first game comes out and it's just not as good as the first one but dark souls 9.0 moving on to uh 360 news uh forza gets a 8.5 from GameSpot. forza is the uh xbox 360 exclusive the uh the, the it's the main enemy of gran turismo which is of course the playstation uh exclusive uh, it gets an 8.5 from GameSpot. Not bad. It's, that's, I mean, that's really not a bad score at all. An 8.5 is really good. It could get like a, a, a 3.0 like the game Damnation. If you haven't played that game Damnation, uh, don't. Because that game sucks. And I don't know whether they got a 3.5 or like a 1 or something. That's what it deserves. But anyway, moving on. Halo will get... Connect integration for all of you Connect fans who would love using Connect and can't wait to get home to fire up the Xbox and get on that Connect and who also love Halo, you two can come together in Xbox 360 matrimony and 
play Halo with Connect. I'm not too sure how it's going to be integrated, but I've I've read a report that said it will be uh, integrated into Halo. So I figure I shared with everybody. Uh, is there Xbox a new Xbox in production? Um, is it 720? Xbox 720. I hope that's not what they call it. I, I seriously hope they come up with a better name than that. But many since last week, uh, there have been a lot of reports that seem uh, a lot of people seem to think that the new Xbox is in development and that it's going to be released before any other new console. Like the Wii did this generation, they. Um, People are believing that X Microsoft is going to do the same thing. Hopefully, if they do it, that's fine or whatever. I just really would like for them to get their hardware situation under control. And I think they have because I personally haven't heard of any sort of issues with the new model Xboxes. I mean, I don't really keep up with that. But I'm pretty sure any problems that have been happening to the newest versions aren't as rampant as they are with as, as they, well as they were with the old xbox uh, 360 you know the, the the launch model i remember when it first came out i was um i waited so long that i, I really wasn't i didn't pre-order it or anything but i got the fever and i really wanted it but I, on launch night there were people online that were complaining about their consoles having issues and getting the red ring of death i was like this will not end well for Microsoft and it didn't but luckily for them they got their shit together and uh, the last news report for Xbox um, people who have FIFA the new FIFA game you know the soccer game uh, there seems to be a scam going around with the uh, downloadable content they're tied together uh, head over to oneup.com and read up on it because what's happening is people are reporting that their Xbox Live accounts have been um, hacked into and uh, purchases have been made that the user didn't uh, doesn't know about or didn't authorize so uh, if you have FIFA the new FIFA game and you have some downloadable content or something uh, go over to oneup.com and read up about that because that's a very serious issue um, that's all for the news right now. Uh, well, the only other thing that I want to add that's not in the bottom is that uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, the reviews are in, and it's, it, it looks amazing. I mean, I've seen, uh, I think the new Game Informer gave it a 10, and IGN gave it a 9.5, but all the reviews are really good. I'm looking forward to that game. It's coming on on October 18th. If you haven't pre-ordered it, you still have time. Um, just not that much time because right now it's the 16th, so yeah, you know, you're, you're kind of screwed. Well, not really, but you know, uh, check it out. It is the best superhero game. When it comes out, it would be the best superhero game available on the market. So, enough about the news. This match is a domination on Crash. I think this is the map Crash. I played this map on Modern Warfare 2 and. I, I'm never nearly as successful as I am when I played on Modern Warfare, the first one. I don't know whether it's the... I don't get it. The Out of all the Call of Duty... I thought about this the other day. Out of every Call of Duty game that has came out this generation th that, you know, everybody plays online, the Modern Warfare 2 is the only game that I really have not found my traction in. And I don't know... I, I just don't understand how... Or why that is because I'm I'm good in this game I'm good in black ops I'm good at world of war hell I'm even decent in damn uh, Call of Duty classic or whatever the hell it's called when I find people to play against but this uh, Modern Warfare 2 I just cannot get into a groove in that game hopefully that hangover that well that hiccup won't it won't uh, transfer over to Modern Warfare 3, which I'm really looking forward to playing. Modern Warfare, it looks like, to me, it looks like they took some elements. It, it it reminds me of Modern Warfare, the first Modern Warfare, the way it looks. So I'm hoping it plays like that. I love the way this game plays. And I actually like this better than the second Modern Warfare. Not because I'm, I, you know, I do decent in it. 
But because it, to me, it just plays better. It plays a lot better than the second Modern Warfare. I was playing Modern Warfare 2 uh, last night, and there was nothing but new tubers running around, and you know, people with the the one man army. And I don't, you know, it's just that game. There's a lot of things in that game that I do not want to see in Modern Warfare 3. And if they are in Modern Warfare 3, then it will, it really will bring that game down. And that's my honest opinion about it. I really think that it's going to tear that game apart if they keep some of the, the bad stuff in that game. But, you know, like new tube, quick scope in. Uh, of course, One Man Army isn't going to be in the game or Last Stand or Second Chance. But, you know, certain things like that. But this video was over. Um, as always, I'm not having it. I've been your host. Like, comment, subscribe, spread the word. Thanks for all the support.